Okay everybody, Terrence McAnally here again with another installment of our GT750 project. So this is what we've got. The cylinder head has come off, and maybe I showed you that before, and that was a fucking pain in the ass. Thank you very much. It uh, necessitated drilling out some holes, which is a big laborious project, and in fact, I fucked it up a little bit because some of the holes, where's one right here? Uh, here's one right here, you can see that got eggulard. So that's how it is when you have to do things without maybe, well, I don't know what could have been done better, a drill press or something like that. It's, it was a, a very laborious process. But the head's off, you can find them on eBay for 50 bucks or something. I'll get another one if need be. The cylinders are stuck as well. So what have I done? I have fabricated a plate out of about a quarter inch, I would guess quarter inch uh, steel and I have drilled it appropriately so that it bolts to the cylinders. Now these long threaded uh, bolts here that you can see sticking out are pushing through the uh, the, the plate that we fabricated and they're pressing, as I, I push down on them and, and tighten them up, they're pressing on the cylinder studs themselves which go into the case. So voila, what you have is a puller basically. So uh, the, the idea here is you can exert some force on the cylinders to try to get those, get well, they're molded together, uh, cast together. You can get them uh, out by exerting force, hammering here if you're careful, hammering here and all around the edges if you're careful. And you can also torque these things down and very in various positions and they will exert a pressure on the cylinder studs that come up through the cylinders from the case. And uh, I've even got threaded holes here, here, and here and those are uh, basically uh, in the centers of the combustion chambers and in the centers of the cylinders so you can put a slap hammer, a slide hammer on those and put a little bit more pressure there. This fucker did not move at all. I've been working on it for several hours now and it's just, it's not budging. So what we're going to do is leave it there for a couple of days and see what happens. Just a little bit of force every day. This thing's been sitting you know, for 40 years or, or whatever, in basically uh, with, with pressure on it and heat cycles and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's pretty fucking tight down there. Anyway, uh, stay tuned, folks. The next step will be to see if this thing comes off, and then hopefully the rest of the disassembly procedure will be pretty good. There's the Can-Am that will turn into a flat tracker for the next project. Anyway, Terrence McAnally, thank you very much.